Oh man, so 50 Cent fires back at Melamel for disrespecting Eminem on that interview with the Art of Dialogue. So, you know, it's really going crazy right now because the Art of Dialogue released this interview of Melamel, you know, commenting on the uh, greatest rappers of all time. And he was speaking specifically about Eminem, which I think is really crazy. You get what I'm saying? But go ahead and smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. Okay, so right here we have 50 Cent firing back at Melamel for disrespecting Eminem. But before we get into what 50 Cent have to say about Melamel and what he told Melamel, we are going to play the clip of Melamel disrespecting Eminem and commenting on that uh, greatest rappers of all time. You get what I'm saying? So go ahead and check out this clip by Melamel with the art of dialogue. Check out the clip. Obviously, he's a capable rapper. If he was talking about sales, he sold more than everybody. If you're talking about rhyme style, okay, he got a rhyme style. But he's white. He's white. So now, if Eminem was just another nigga like all the rest of us, would he be top five on that list when a nigga that Karam just as good as him is 35? That had records and all that. He's 35. He's white. Okay, so I think it's a little bit crazy. You get what I'm saying? Because when Fat Joe reacted to the situation and some other rappers reacted to the situation of what Melamel just said, you get what I'm saying? They said that Melamel was hitting on Eminem because Eminem is undoubtedly a good rapper. You get what I'm saying? He's a dope rapper. Like, he's a good one. You get what I'm saying? He changed the culture and everything about the culture. So, in my own personal opinion on what Melamel just said on this clip, I disagree with him. You get what I'm saying? Because Eminem is not the kind of rapper that is, you know, looking flashy, putting on so many jewelries and stuff like that. He doesn't do that for attention. His music was making the waves for him. But that is a part. Let's get straight into what 50 Cent have to say about this situation. Check this out. So 50 Cent posted on his Instagram page and he said, There was more money selling dope then being in hip-hop when Melamel was popping. The culture has grown so much and I'm sure it would be what it is today without artists like Eminem. She, I am not sure I will be who I am without him but you know it's competitive so niggas gonna hate. LOL. F out of here we sucker free. So this is what 50 Cent told Melamel. You get what I'm saying? Cause yeah, for sure. Whenever you're successful, people are gonna hit on you. But for Melamel to stoop so low to say that about Eminem, I think is crazy. You get what I'm saying? Though Melamel is always looking for attention and stuff like that, he's an OG. You get what I'm saying? He's an OG. Respect everyone's opinion. You get what I'm saying? But you know, I think this is really crazy because Eminem changed the game, right? Eminem sold so many records. Eminem made so many good music. Eminem was a global rapper. Eminem is not only big in the US. I mean, Eminem was big even in Africa. Eminem was big in villages in Africa. Eminem wasn't only big in the US or in the UK or, you know, in foreign countries. Eminem was also big everywhere in the world. His music made waves. Trust me. His music inspires so many artists all around the world. So for Melamel to say what he said, I think he's crazy. I'm a rapper. I'm from Africa. I'm a Nigerian. I know Eminem, but I don't know Melamel until he made this statement. You get what I'm saying? He made the statement, so I have to go check out and, you know, look at him, his music catalog and listen to his songs and check out some stuff about him. I don't know him, but I know Eminem. And he claims that he's from Aries and stuff like that. But I think that's a hate stuff to say, man. You know, black people, we have to step up the game. You get what I'm saying? We can't blame our failures. We can't blame our lapses on other people that are white because they are white. I think we have used the, the statement of, no, he's white. That's why he did it. You know, he have a, 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 a color skin, that's why he did it. I'm black, that's why I can't do it, and stuff like that. I think that's crazy. 
that's a wrong mentality and i think that's the same mindset that melamel had when he made this statement because he said that eminem did it because eminem is white which i disagree with no one is white we have to step out of that mentality that mindset is so wrong what's wrong with black people you get what I'm saying? If you didn't do what Eminem did, that means you are not good as Eminem. There are so many black artists out there who are doing better than Eminem today. You get what I'm saying? There are so many of them. So you can't say that your black skin stopped you from doing what you are supposed to do. You know, there's like blaming your failure on someone else. And you can do that. And what 50 Cent just say here is straight up. Trust me. There was more money in dope then than, you know, being in hip hop when Melamel was popping. And that's for sure. The culture has grown so much, I'm sure it wouldn't be what it is today without artists like Eminem. And that's for sure, because Eminem showed us it's possible to sell millions and millions of records using the same genre of music that is called hip hop. Yeah, hip hop is black music, hip hop is this and hip hop is that. But this dude, we say white dude, came into the game, changed the game, uplifted the game for black people to keep on going. He made it possible. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, Melamel, I don't agree with you. You know, you are an OG, a big respect to you. But, you know, on this one, I disagree with you. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you all think about what Melamel just said? Because, you know, Listening to what Melamel say and looking at 50 Cent firing back at Melamel is kind of told me that yeah man, you know, he just effed up on that interview, right? He just effed off on that interview. You know, it's a big effort, man. It's a big effort. That's a hate speech. Yeah, I'm black. I love black people. Black owns the music and stuff like that. But if you're watching this video right now, and you're blaming your failure on your skin, I think that's a very wrong thing to do. You get what I'm saying? That's a wrong thing to do. There's so many black people that are billionaires. You get what I'm saying? There's so many black people that invented so many things in the world. There's so many black people that are doing so well for themselves in different industries. So if you're in any industry, you're working at a job and you're blaming white people because you're black and these, that's a skills. That's a wrong mindset. Come out of that mindset, man. That's all I have to say. Share your opinions in the comment section. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Still your favorite African brother reporting.